Hello everyone! Today we're going to talk about functions. Functions represent the relationship between two variables which are the independent variable and the dependent variable. When we speak of dependent variable, it is a variable that depends on one or more other variables. In calculus, the dependent variable is the output of a function. When we speak of independent variable, independent variables are the inputs for the functions. The value of an independent variable does not depend on the other variables. Rather, changes in the independent variable cause a change in another variable. Example, if we have y is equals to ax plus b, here, the dependent variable is y and the independent variable is x. The value of y depends on the value chosen for x. Note that a and b here are constants. Usually, we use the variables x, y, and z. And we usually use for the constants letters a, b, and c. Constant is a number on its own, or sometimes a letter such as A, B, or C to stand for a fixed number. We have two classification of functions, namely the algebraic function and the transcendental function. Algebraic function involves only a finite number of the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Example, the function of x is equals to x squared minus 2x plus 2. The second classification of function is the transcendental function. Included in this class are exponential, logarithmic, trigonometric or circular, and inverse trigonometric functions. Example, f of x is equals to sine x. To understand the concept of function, let's have some examples. First, we're going to evaluate an algebraic function. Number 1, if f of x is equals to 4x raised to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 2. Here, we're going to find letter A, f of 2 and letter B, f of 1 half. For letter A, we have f of x is equal to 4x raised to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 2. Here we need to find our f of x if the given value of x is equal to 2. Substituting 2 to our variable x, we have f of 2 is equal to 4 times 2 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 times 2 squared plus 2 times 2 minus 2. Here we have f of 2 is equals to 4 times 16 minus 3 times 4 plus 4 minus 2. Now we have f of 2 is equals to uh, 4 times 16 gives us 64 minus 3 times 4 gives us 12 plus 4 minus 2. If we're going to perform the operations for 64 minus 12 plus 4 minus 2, we have f of 2 is equals to 54. For letter B, we have f of x is equals to 4x raised to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 2. We need to find f of 1 half. To solve this, we need to substitute 1 half to our given function. So we have f of 1 half is equals to 4 times 1 half raised to the power of 4 minus 3 times 1 half squared plus 2 times 1 half minus 2. So we have f of 1 half is equals to 4 times 1 over 16 minus 3 times 1 fourth plus 
1 minus 2. Performing the operations, we have f of 1 half is equals to 4 over 16 minus 3 over 4 plus 1 minus 2. Since 4 over 16 can be reduced, so we have f of 1 half is equals to 1 fourth minus 3 over 4 plus 1 minus 2. Next, to simplify this, we need to find the LCD. The LCD here is 4. So we have 4 divided by 4 is 1. Then 1 times 1 is 1. So that's why we have 1 here. Then next, 4 divided by 4 is 1 times negative 3. So that's why we have negative 3 here. Then 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 1 so that's why we have 4 here then we have 4 divided by 1 is 4 times negative 2 so we have negative 8 so that's why we have 1 minus 3 plus 4 minus 8 over 4 then performing the operation for 1 minus 3 plus 4 minus 8 so we have negative 6 so over 4 then simplifying negative 6 over 4 since we can still reduce that one, dividing both our numerator and denominator by 2. So we have f of 1 half is equals to negative 3 over 2. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to show your support so that I can make other videos like this. Next, we're going to have an example in evaluating a transcendental function. For number 2, we have if h of y is equals to cosine y minus sine y, we need to find letter a, h of pi over 2, and letter b, we need to show that h of pi over 2 plus x is equals to h of pi minus x, for letter A, we have h of y is equals to cosine y minus sine y at h of pi over 2. To solve this, we need to substitute pi over 2 to our y. So we have h of pi over 2 is equals to cosine pi over 2 minus sine pi over 2. To get the value of our trigonometric function, so we need to set our calculator to region mode. So we have h of pi over 2 is equals to the value of cosine pi over 2 if you're going to input that one in your calculator is 0 minus the value of sine pi over 2 if you're going to input that one in your calculator it gives us the value of 1. So therefore, our h of pi over 2 is equals to 0 minus 1 is equals to negative 1. First, we're going to substitute pi over 2 plus x to our y variable. So we have h of pi over 2 plus x is equals to cosine pi over 2 plus x minus sine pi over 2 plus x. To solve this, we need to recall the sum formula in trigonometry. We have sine a plus b is equals to sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. Cosine a plus b is equals to cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b. Therefore, we have h of pi over 2 plus x is equals to cosine pi over 2 cosine x minus sine pi over 2 sine x minus sine pi over 2 cosine x plus cosine pi over 2 sine x.
The next step is to set our calculator to region mode so that we can get the trigonometric value of the given function. So we have h of pi over 2 plus x is equals to, um, if we're going to input cosine pi over 2 in our calculator, so we have 0, then bring down cosine x minus um, sine pi over 2 is equivalent to 1, then bring down sine x, then copy the uh, operation, so minus, then sine pi over 2, so we have 1, then bring down cosine x plus cosine pi over 2 is 0, then bring down sine x. So simplifying it, we have h pi over 2 plus x is equals to 0 minus sine x minus cosine x minus 0. So therefore, the value of h of pi over 2 plus x is equals to negative sine x minus cosine x. Next, we need to solve h of y is equals to cosine y minus sine y when the value of our y is pi minus x. Therefore, we have h of pi minus x is equals to cosine pi minus x minus sine pi minus x. To solve this one, we need to recall the difference formula in trigonometry. So, recalling that formula, we have sine a minus b is equals to sine a cosine b minus cosine a sine b. Then for cosine a minus b, we have cosine a cosine b plus sine a sine b. Using the difference formula in trigonometry, therefore we have h of pi minus x is equals to cosine pi cosine x plus sine pi sine x minus sine pi cosine x minus cosine pi sine x. To solve this, we need to set our calculator to region mode. Next, we have h of pi minus x is equals to getting the value of cosine pi. We have negative 1, bring down cosine x, plus the value of sine pi is equals to 0, then bring down sine x, then copy the operation, which is subtraction, then the value of sine pi is equals to 0, then bring down cosine x, then copy the operation, which is minus sine, then the value of cosine pi is equals to negative 1, then bring down sine x. Therefore, simplifying the operations, we have h of pi minus x is equals to um, negative 1 times cosine x gives us a negative cosine x plus 0 times sine x gives us a 0, then copy the operation which is subtraction, then 0 times cosine x gives us a 0, then we have negative times negative 1 gives us a positive 1 multiplied by sine x, so we have positive sine x, then we, we still have the operation in the outside of our parenthesis, which is negative. Therefore, we have negative sine x here. So simplifying this, we have h of pi minus x is equals to negative sine x minus cosine x, which is the same as what we have derived a while ago. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something from this. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.